Good morning, everybody. It is fucking cold, man. Woo! I don't know where you guys live, but over here in Canada, with the wind chill this morning, it's minus 13. So I got to warm up the car a little bit. Layer it up. Woo! So anyhow, some of you have been asking for me or telling me, how come I don't bench press like barbell bench press? I do. Today I will be bench pressing. I feel good. I feel awake. I'm energized. So we're going to give it a shot. You guys want to see it, I'll bench. But to be honest, guys, it's nothing spectacular. <laughs> it's an old guy bench pressing. You know? Like, it's not like back when I was competing in at my... Uh, strongest of 425 for a double it ain't gonna happen i have torn triceps man but i will bench i'll see what we can do and uh, we're gonna have fun with it so today we'll be bench uh i'm gonna keep it very basic to be honest if i'm gonna be benching it takes a lot for me to warm up and get in position and my shoulders and everything first i gotta see how this fucking left shoulder is holding up and uh then we'll take it from there. Uh, yeah. Anyhow, enough of that. Uh, just to give you guys an update. If what if you've been following me and watching my latest videos, you'll know that I have a real bad addiction to stimulants. Real bad. To the point I was drinking up to six uh, rock stars a day. Six to eight ephedrine a day. Three coffees a day constantly on stimulants well it's been two weeks now i feel fantastic the migraines are gone i am more awake than ever i am getting better sleep than ever and that's obvious because of all the stimulants are out of me so my fucking heart ain't going fucking 100 miles an hour all the time but uh yeah i feel fantastic uh more clear more focused uh, the energy levels through the roof. Surprisingly, my energy is through the roof and I'm not even on any stimulants at all. It's just strictly, I, all I drink is uh, crystal light. A lot of it, at least. Uh, I drink about four liters a day of crystal light. Fucking alarm. <clears throat> and that's plenty. Four liters of water a day. Fuck. I'm going to need a pair of Depends after fucking drinking four liters of water a day of fucking constantly pissing. But anyhow, that's what I've been doing. I feel fantastic. No more heart pal palpitations, fucking and, uh, you know, getting all worked up and angry and everything. Fuck, man. Like, yesterday I got yelled at by some fucking idiot at work for no fucking reason but his own wrongdoing. But he took it out on me, fucking idiot. And usually I would have fucking lost my shit and fucking threaten them and everything. I just like, ah, whatever. See you later, fucker. You're out of my life. You don't, you don't even fucking deserve my attention anymore. So that, that's a good thing because normally that wouldn't have ended up well. I would have probably have gotten fired. I was that upset, but I kept my calm after and thought it through. Usually I just jumped the gun because I'm always aggressive, 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 and it's um, it's because of the stimulants. So, man, I took the wrong way. Fuck. Now I'm taking the long way. But anyhow, I'm feeling great. I hope you're all feeling great. It's a beautiful fucking day. It is fucking freezing. Like, my hands are purple, man. Fuck. Holding on to the steering wheel feels like it, it burns. It's that cold. I'm just holding it with a thumb now. It's so fucking cold. But the car's warmed up. The heat will kick in soon. And I hope you guys are all doing great. I hope you're fucking killing it in life. I hope you guys are fucking doing what makes you guys happy. Again, another thing. Somebody uh, at the gym the other day saw me doing all these heavy weights of rowing and everything. And they're like, why are you doing that? Why are you 
fucking lifting such hev heavy weights. Buddy, everybody, I'm telling you guys, do what you love. Fuck the social media and everything like that and these great, great trainers who are trying to put out con content out there, just like myself. I'm not saying anything about them. They're all great guys. Some I know. And I'm putting out my own stuff. But I train the way I train. You understand? Train the way you want to train. You want to fucking train chest and back or whatever. Certain ways, whatever. Train the way you want to train. Don't follow a set routine. You want to train chest fucking three times a week? Fuck, go right ahead. Go right ahead. Who gives a fuck? It's your life. And the camera's going all fucking loopy on me. That's all right, fuck it. I said keep it raw. I'm keeping it raw. There's no set routine, guys. Train the way you want to fucking train plain and simple. You want to fucking train biceps five days a week? Fuck, go right ahead. Whatever makes you happy. And that's basically what I told that person at the gym. But uh, in a little rougher tone. <laughs> fuck them. You know? Live your life. Don't be fucking programmed to do anything that everybody else is doing. We're all different human beings. All I recommend is, if you're going to do an exercise, do it with proper form. You fucking piece of shit camera. Proper form. Proper form is key. Plain and simple. It is key. And don't worry about the weight. Progression. Nice slow progression. Why fuck you get yourself hurt? Why? For what? You're not competing. You're, you're not competing in powerlifting. You're not making any money out of this. So just take your... Have some fucking fun while training. And that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to bench, maybe do some incline, side laterals, and dips. That sounds fucking good. Heavy, basic fucking workout. Fucking call it a day. Because we're old and strong and fucking we don't quit. See you guys in there. Fuck shit up, guys. What? All right, now we're into, for us old guys, some weight. I'm not training in the power rack. So, you gotta be very, you gotta think about these things when you train by yourself, you know? Like I said, I'm not here to get injured or anything, but injury could happen with just 135 on the bar. Injuries can happen anytime. But 280, I should have that up there, no problem. So let's see how we do here. Let's see how we do here. I just wish I could use leg drive. I don't have no leg drive. Very frustrating. Very, very frustrating. Oh, God, this had never hurt. Let's go. Let's stay focused. Let's stay focused here. Uh. 
Uh. Starting to feel it in the shoulder. Just a bit. So, man, I would love to get... That's 280. I'd love to get at least 300 on my own. Hey, Brandon. How are you, buddy? Yeah, it's been a while. Been a while. All right. All right, well. We're going to give... Three bills a shot. Find the one with superstitious. He, I had a 35 on each side plus a two and a half. He made me strip it off, put a quarter ten in the two and a half, because it's superstitious. So, Brandon, I'm gonna do what you say, buddy. This will probably be the the last set and then I'll do a back off set and we'll get some reps because remember guys I, I don't power lift anymore or anything I don't want to get hurt man like I'm not trying to be a pussy to you guys but man 300 pounds at 52 all the injuries I've had I have I don't need to get hurt alrighty so let's see what we've got here Ah, oh, god damn, that hurts. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Yep. Wow. Yeah. Maybe a superstitious was right. Got two. Good enough. We'll do a back off set. We'll back it down to 230. Just make an even number. We'll get reps. See you in a bit. Whew. All right, I'm getting tired of benching. I need to get back to my routine. <laughs> so. We're going to rep this thing up. I'm actually kind of proud of myself that I uh, benched 300 for two. On my own, no lift off, no spot, nothing. And it was good, it was paused. Not the longest pause, but it was paused. We're touch and go, whatever. I don't give a fuck. But anyhow, I'm, I'm pretty happy with myself. It actually felt light. So, we're gonna try to get as many reps as we can on this. I have no pump, and that's driving me nuts. Because powerlifting, there's no pump. Now I'm going to get a pump from doing 230 for reps. I had to wait all this time. So all I did was heavy, 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 heavy. I just want to get that pump, man. Like uh, That's how I work out. I'm, I'm after the intensity. Powerlifting to me is relaxing. Long breaks. Fucking just push for one rep, one or two reps. It's boring to me. As much as I love powerlifting, I love the, in the intensity of the bodybuilding, the way I train. Yep. 
Oh, Jesus Christ. I can't wait to finish this. of guys that could do actual one lift of 225 it was like out of a hundred people you know i one, think it's one percent yeah one percent but yeah in the world in the world it was under yeah it's like point yeah five of the general population yeah. so i looked up one arm pull-ups yeah and i'm like in a real elite yes yeah. they say most people are like one arm pull-ups are like yeah. Almost it's almost impossible. But because we're gym rats, yep. we sit here and I get pissed off because I can, you yeah. know, like I can do it 10 times or whatever. But at my age or whatever, if you were to do all the figuring out, I'd probably be in the lowest percentile. One yeah, one. for sure, Tony. You know what I mean? For sure, Tony. Yeah. Dude, we're fucked up. Yeah. it's, it's And you know what? Problem. It's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> because I don't want to be like everybody else sitting at home being a fat fuck. No, that's I'm fat, but I'm strong as fuck. Fuck, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought I'd say it before you said it to me. Two hundred and fifty pounds. Might do a triple on this. Who knows? See how it goes. Staying focused. Visualizing. Nothing like training with a bit of anger. And I'm angry because I woke up late. <laughs> My body obviously needed sleep. And I got two hours extra sleep. So I, f I got fully a full seven hours. And I'm upset about that. Fucking stupid, eh? And, you know, let's see what this beach whale's got. Oh, God damn, that hurts. All right. Let's see here. I think I should have took more pain medication. <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus. And that's why I've been doing machines for more often. Sitting on this and grinding that lower back just destroys me. I try to figure out each way to roll on and it just doesn't work anyhow enough complaining let's get back to work let's keep going up
I literally fear this machine, this bench. The reason why I say it, it's a piece, it's old. It's a piece of shit. And this fucking seat can give out at any time. You know what? I might actually put a plate underneath it. Piece of shit. There we go. You just never know, right? So, put a plate underneath. Hopefully, it'll stop it from falling. Yeah, anyway, let's just get to this. <sighs> Yeah, I don't bench on this fucking thing. Don't wet the floor here. I tell him, don't wet the floor. He wets the floor. I have no grip. Fucking cocksucker. Fuck. People are fucking ignorant. I shaved. <laughs> you know, I get, excuse me, I get the kid has to clean the floors, all right? But if somebody asks you, don't wet the fucking floor, there's a reason for it. I don't trust this fucking bench. And, he, and I need the foot placement. He goes right over. Mm. Fuck, I love it if he trained and I fucking did that to him. See him slip. Yeah, we're at 185. Let's just keep going, guys. Let's just keep going through this shit, eh? It's getting annoying. It's getting annoying. I'm tired of shit. See you guys in a few. Okay, 225. Let's see what we got in the tank here. And then, uh, yeah. Do a little bit of peck work after. Peck deck. And then that's it. We'll go to the shoulders and the triceps.
Good enough. Fuck this shit. Shoulders taking a beating. Good enough. Whew. Let's go to Peck Deck. Gonna move on to machine side lateral. Gonna do a couple of warm up sets. Again, if you saw my other videos, you just sit in it, push your arms into it, lean forward into the pad and rock. One. Two. One. That's an easy weight. We'll go to up to 110. Remember, guys, from doing bench press, a lot of bench pressing, and then high incline like that, that 45 degree angle sucks. Uh, you don't need much uh, front delt work. Don't really need it at all. Because my front delt's already trash. Might as well just move on to the side. So that's my theory. You can take it, do whatever you want with it. But that's how I do it. Let's go. 110. Come on. You got to stay focused here. Yeah, that's too light. We're going to go up to 155. Want to put some weight on there? Go ahead, buddy. Yeah. Let's go. One fifty-five. One fifty-five. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Yeah. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Holy shit. Moving on to the hammer dip. Nothing insane. Two plates aside. And we're going to be standing. Standing. And just push down. Reason why I'm standing is 
when I push down. It's like doing a, a close grip push up. I focus on pushing with my tricep and bringing my tits together. Get a great contraction in the center of the chest. So we're going to go up and wait, probably put a quarter. And we'll move on from there. Time to work. Time to work, baby. Time to work, baby. Let's go. Lightweight. This is what I was wanting, a pump. Ooh. Last set. Last set, best set. Last set, best set. Last set, best set. everybody so the workout wasn't the greatest I know you guys asked me to do a bench press and everything like that I did but it's <laughs> plain and simple I don't fucking like it I don't fucking like it <laughs> um I prefer to hammer strengthen area. I feel safer. I'm getting older. The shoulders are grinding. I don't want fucking sh <laughs> shoulder surgery. Plain and simple. Uh, yes, I'm proud that I got a 300 pound bench press with touching nice saw, uh, nice uh, pause for two reps. I'm happy about that. But does it mean anything? Fuck no. All I did was push heavy weight. I got no pump, nothing. The pump didn't come till after when I did the back offset. You know, the, the like I said, this was basically a powerlifting workout, and that's not me. I love heavy, high rep, fucking shit. That's what I love, and this wasn't it. The bench was heavy. The incline 225 for an old 52-year-old man. Yeah, that's not bad. I think I got eight reps. Not bad. But it, it's not what I like. The, the angle was shit. I, I'm not... I, as you get older, you guys will understand this, especially you older gentlemen out there and women. You feel more comfortable being in a safer spot because we're trying to preserve as much muscle and strength as possible and mass as possible so why go on to a barbell and possibly tearing a rotator cuff tearing a pack everything it's not worth it when you get older i've built this size i want to maintain this size so you can maintain it while using the machines or hammer strength it's just safer for us. 
So today was something out of my comfort zone. I did it. I'm glad I did it for you guys. But that won't happen again. Not a fucking chance. I am not going to risk a shoulder or a tricep. Even when I did the incline press, the 225, the last three reps were iffy because I actually felt tending, tendon starting to pull in the tie-in with the shoulder. And I'm like, this is fucked, man. I don't incline bench press 45 degrees. So I just stopped. And I kept getting angrier and angrier. You know, and I don't like that. I don't like training like that uh, where I'm thinking I'm going to get hurt. It's not worth it, guys. Don't train to get hurt. Train to be smart, strong, and thick. You got to use your heads. It's great to be able to bench press and everything like that when you're young. You're young. I'm not young anymore. So that's my thought on today's training. It just, I'm done with the powerlifting in Chile. I, I like what how I train. Hard, heavy, in the machine. Safe. If something's going to crash, it's going to crash, and I'm not going to get fucking destroyed underneath a bar. It's not worth it. So really think about what you're doing, guys. Really think about what you're doing. Today was a great example of... When you're older, it's not worth it. It isn't. So anyhow, uh, I had to leave. I have other appointments. Again, it's just a hobby. Remind yourselves of that. If something comes on your phone or whatever, and it's time to leave for other purposes in life, like family, which is more important than a fucking gym, you got to leave plain and simple. And plus, I was in there an hour. Fucking good enough. Good enough. Give it your all. Everything was heavy. Everything was heavy. You think about it. Us trainers and people that train, we are the less than 1% of the world population that actually lifts weights. It seems like there's a lot because you see it on social media and everything like that. But in reality, in life, there's not a lot of us that do what we do because we are fucked up in the head. Think about that. So even though, yeah, oh, he's only incline bench pressing 225 or benching 300. Put every 52-year-old man in the world, not many, less than 1% bench 300. Less than 1% bench 200. It's true. So, I'm happy about what I'm doing. I'm training the way I want to train. And this, today's training session like that, will never happen again. That was a lesson learned. I won't do that shit ever again. It's not worth it for me. Ah, you know what? Fuck. We're gonna go through. We're gonna go through. <sighs> I'm frustrated. I feel like I wasted a workout. You know what, though? Hopefully, I'll recuperate fast from this. I'll do, I'll do another chest workout if I feel like it uh, later on in the week or whatever. Because this was just. <clears throat> Out of 10, I give this a fucking three. This ain't my type of shit. I'm sorry that I'm rambling, but anyhow, guys, we're going to stop here. And uh, just remember, again, we are grateful to wake up every morning. We are grateful that we get up and do what we do and lift some heavy ass weight. We are grateful that we can get up every morning and slap our wife's ass <laughs> and give her a good big kiss. And tell her how we love her. And show her how we love her. <laughs> there you go, guys. Have a great fucking day. On to the next session. There's always another day to train. As long as we wait, open up our eyes every morning. Love you all. <laughs>